Good morning. This is the news. The Peter Bedford Film Club presents. This is what we're all about. Market. Hi, I'm Alan. And I'm Logan. Welcome to the Peter Bedford Film Club. This is a film made by Peter Bedford tenants and participants. When we started this project, we met with Chris Brace, the chief executive, to get some of his ideas as to what we should include in our film. He's based at our Islington site, so we had a chat with him outside the Legard Works Cafe. We're the film club and uh, we're making a film about Peter Bedford and I was just wondering what sorts of things you'd like to see in the film. I think for me it's about explaining what's unique about Peter Bedford in terms of supporting somebody with housing needs and then um, developing a feeling of community and um, <laughs> goals for the future and the more we find out what people think about Peter Bedford and what they value about Peter Bedford, the more that we can really make sure that we're going in the right direction. So we took our cameras and asked people what they think of Peter Bedford. The amazing thing about Peter Bedford is the diversity of, the, of its participants. You know, we stay in contact with each other and see how we are, you know, and it's great for me, like, you know, to know that Brian's OK. Peter Bedford helps to... helps me to and help others to look for employment, help support each other. We've got our own little garden for everybody to come do what they want to do. And I've got my flat up there. And, I, and I've been in Peter Bedford for five, I think it's five years or four years. When you, when you first come here, you meet everyone new. It's a joyful place. The staff are polite, the college is polite. The lovely thing is, due to the equality policy, we're all equally dodgy. Peter Bedford! So as you can see, there's a lot going on here at Peter Bedford. But what about the housing? Our housing? Well, I've lived at Peter Bedford for eight years and it's given me a space where I can feel safe and secure. But let's meet some of the other tenants. Hello there, I'm Ken Clare. I'll show you around the flat that Peter Bedford provided for me. This is a bedroom. This is my kitchen. I like to keep tidy, you know, Ken? This is the bathroom, and this is the uh, sitting room where I like to relax. I've lived here in Clissel Road uh, since uh, the autumn of 1985. It is quite a nice little flat, and uh, I am happy because I'm, I'm certainly not lonely here. There is lots of people coming in and out of here. I came to Peter Bedford in 1993. I'd uh, reached a very low point in my life. I'd been looking after a sick relative and I had uh, nowhere to live. And uh, I presented myself to Peter Bedford and luckily for me, they took me on as a tenant. And for every tenant, there's someone like Sherlock who can offer support for those who want it. Hello, oh, okay. How are you doing? Hello, right. All right, good day. Yeah. So we call down? Yeah. yeah. As housing support worker, we support our tenants um, to live a more independent life. Okay. So how was it at Bath then? Oh, yeah, I've got some film I want to show you. Okay, that's um, good. You have a bit of change around here, Ken. Yeah. You still have your little table behind there. Oh, yeah. Sherlock's um, helped me a lot. But, um, yeah, the house is supported, it's not forced on you, but you know, you know it's there if you need it. So how was the weather in Bath? Oh, the weather is lovely. Managed to get some good filming done? Yeah. You can take me through some of what you've done there? That's the Abbey, yeah. The Abbey, okay. This is the south side of it. My relationship with Ken, although professional, but it's, it's quite, you know, friendly as well. So we get on very well as well. So, I paid him to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I suffer from quite serious depression, so an hour a day in the garden is actually really therapeutic. Um, I don't have to, or don't want to kill my neighbours as often when I'm in the garden. So, I mean, you know, it's nice. You're standing on all the Himalayan orchids, look at that. <laughs> <It's very laughs> Um, I suppose it's what keeps you going, isn't it? You know, 
it doesn't take much to grow all these beautiful things. You just stick them in the earth and give them a bit of water and TLC and that's it, isn't it? And I suppose that's all we need, really. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And I think Bedford provides that in a way, quite a big way, really. Peter Bedford also runs a communal garden scheme growing organic fruit and vegetables. The work that goes on here is much more than just gardening, you know. People feel quite involved and people have involved themselves and decide what they want to grow the following year or decide what jobs they're going to do that day at the start of the day for themselves. So it's a really nice example of, um, yeah, just people being involved and um, I just a collective way of running a project. So it's something that's quite different. And I was given a garden tour by Precious. She has been involved with this communal scheme from the very start. And this is blow choke. This one you eat the head, eh? mm. and this one you eat the leaves. What's it called again? Fennel. Sweet Sicily. Oh, sweet Sicily. Yes, you can scrunch it with your fingers mm. and, yes, and smell it. Smell it. Yes. Mm. yes, it does smell of aniseed. It has really been an important uh, part of my personal development. And there's lots more on offer at Peter Bedford. The canteen on Isildon Road is also run by the community. We do two choices. Sometimes we have a meat. We have fish and chips on the Friday. Sometimes chicken nuggets and veggie. When somebody wants, if they don't have veggie, they have meat. They've got two choices of food. That's what they're having today. We work very well together. He does all the meals and I'll take them out. And you can pick up practical skills like joinery down at the workshop at our Islington branch. The good thing about Peter Bedford is you can have a cup of tea before you start. <laughs> Excuse me. I've been at Peter Bedford for more than two years. I love it here. Well, I never did woodwork before I came to Peter Bedford and I've been doing it two days a week. It was like therapy to me. Previously, I was working for 14 years as a window cleaner and there'd be days that um, I, I, I wouldn't talk to anybody. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> and for those with nimble fingers, we also have a soft furnishings workshop based in Hackney. In this workshop, we do lots of things. We make cushions, bags, we do repairs, we make things for Christmas, we make things for Easter, we make quilts, we make things to order, we do lots of lettering with children and people's names. Happy birthday, things like, you know, banners and um, working as a group. It is nice to do together and help each other when it is needed. Where do you see yourself in one year's time? On top of the world. <laughs> I want to achieve, achieve so much, so much, you know what I mean? And since Peter Bedford offers a range of NVQs, life skills, IT training and back to work support, you too can achieve as much as you like. There's even a shop on Holloway Road where you can gain an NVQ award in retail. Hi, uh, I was looking for a retail job and my advisor at the job centre actually recommended this place and said that they offer training and will help you to do an NVQ so that you can get back into paid work so they can help you gain the skills you need and to become more confident. And while some people are doing retail qualifications, others are training in catering and hospitality. I've been working at Peter Bedford for nine years now and, and I just like job and qualified to stepping up to my MBQ level two and then I learned to cook, make um, bread pudding, um, all sorts of things like meat and vegetables. Do you see yourself staying with Peter Bedford for a long time? Um, not for a long time. I just want to get the college vacations and move on to get a full-time job in the future. And there's also the potential for working within the Peter Bedford organisation. I was in a homeless hostel and they referred me to Peter Bedford. This was about four years ago. I do training reception here and I also help if we have any interviews. Good afternoon, Peter Bedford, can I help you? We're all like a mixed salad, we're all different nationalities, different cultures, 
and we all, all tenants and participants, we like to work together as a team. It's not only Kitty who works and lives at Peter Bedford. That's right. David also found employment and he showed me his office around Stanford Works. Okay, this is uh, Stanford Works on Hackney Branch that canteens through there. Now, around here is um, a place where people congregate and tend to socialise a bit before they go up to reception there. But I work just through here in uh, admin. Let me show you. This is the admin office for our uh, Hackney office, our Hackney branch. Um, I work mostly over there. For example, I'm working on a directory of services for the use of our tenants. I've got uh, computer skills now, interpersonal skills, general administrative skills. Basically everything I've learned working here is now easily transferable to another office environment. <laughs> but if you're not quite ready for work, there's plenty of other fun stuff to get involved with, such as creative writing courses, drama groups and our regular art classes. Well, my name's Jackie and I'm uh, a volunteer in the art and crafts uh, class. Since we've been here today, we've um, sanded down this, these benches, created some designs and everybody chose the ones we're using. This is a butterfly and everybody's got involved with painting and been active in choosing the colours and where the colours go. So we've all, we've all done our bit. So as you can see, Peter Bedford is a housing association that provides a lot more than just housing. Absolutely, and it means a lot to the people who use the services. Peter Bedford gives people opportunity, training, outings, meeting other people. If not for Peter Bedford and their support, I wouldn't even have thought of going on to university. I did. It took me a long time, but I am now a Bachelor of Arts with Criminology. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, it is something that we should all be able to take for granted, isn't it? You know, a roof over our heads and a bit of security. It's just a really nice place because you can become confident by meeting new people. And I think it's about creating friendship. A little and large. Yeah, little and large. Yeah, little and large. Elaine is one of my best friends, so I look after her because she's a friend. For 20 years I've been working on this, and this has been for something. We are cultivating gardeners rather than gardens here, yeah, don't we? It gets me out the house and, and just come down and make new friends and work in a team. It's taken us three months to make this film as our first project of the Peter Bedford Film Group. And we hope you enjoy watching it as much as we've enjoyed making it. <laughs>